welcome back to another vlog i am so excited for this vlog because this is a special occasion why i'm vlogging special trip um it is me and iram's one year anniversary i'm so excited so in honor of our anniversary we chose to celebrate in Vieques. And Vieques is this little island outside of Puerto Rico. It's still technically Puerto Rico, but we have to take a ferry ride to the island. So it's like separate than the main island of Puerto Rico. So we're going to be there from Thursday to Monday. So it's going to be a nice lengthy five day trip. I'm currently packing and it's just been so fun to like try on different outfits. Right now I have my bikini top and yeah, I am definitely an overpacker, but I'm like literally so excited. Uh, Thursday night we're gonna be staying in the back of the truck do a little bonfire on the beach sleep on the beach or the back of the truck He has a huge truck SUV. So that's gonna be Thursday then Friday Saturday We have really cute Airbnb. It has like the cutest little loft and I'm so excited for it um, That's Thursday. I mean that's Friday Saturday then Sunday We're gonna be sleeping in the truck again on the beach, which I'm so excited for so yeah Stay tuned because this is gonna be a lit vlog um, If you're not subscribed right now stop what you're doing hit that subscribe button Hit a like and enjoy the vlog. Going back to the vehicle, guys. to the block again. We're just putting the truck in the ferry. And it's so cool guys. officially made it to Vieques. As you can see, I'm in the process of doing my makeup. I got my um, baking powder on, but, so, it was about, what, an hour to get here? 45 minutes. 45 minutes on the ferry ride. And as you can see, we're still in our car because we were able to ship his car on the same ship, like the same ferry that we were on, and it came here, so. It's so nice. We just got hot dogs, and we got our Starbucks, and we got a truck full of stuff the first night like I told you guys we're gonna be sleeping in the truck so we bought this from Walmart we'll see how it goes <laughs> but they, the they changed the tickets yeah I told them about that so this is the first beach we went to just to eat stop and eat and it's crazy I don't know if the camera picks it up but from here you can see the main island of Puerto Rico look at that it's so close like when you're on the ferry ride it feels like a while but it's actually pretty close oh by the way look at this Edom got me this from for our anniversary you guys always say I have this ring so he got me this exactly a year ago the ring and now I have the matching necklace and then the earrings they're so pretty oh thank you hey the hot dog's good huh <laughs> excellent <laughs> so bomb all right, you guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to like, 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 like. We have a wild sighting of Ira Merero taking a badookie. Because he can't hold it for the life of him. Look at, he's trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> Let me see your paper towel. <laughs> Alright you guys, I finished my makeup. So I packed like a quick little makeup thing. This is like my essentials that I needed 
We got the bare minerals. This has sunscreen in it, so of course I had to bring that. You know, just the basics, and I brought so many brushes, but yeah. Now I'm ready to vlog. Fun fact, we came here about, um, what was it, like two weeks ago? But I vlogged, but I wasn't feeling it. Like, my face just didn't feel cute. Not to say that I don't like my face without makeup, but it was just like vlogging that day. I was just not feeling it. But today, I'm in the mood, and I'm feeling it. Plus, it's our anniversary, so I feel I feel, I feel excited. Let's roll. Let's roll. Do you, are you, like, five pounds lighter now? I feel better. <laughs> Let's go. Where are we going? We're just exploring the top part of the island, right? Yep, the top part of the island. We're going to Punta Arenas. Yeah, last time we basically in one day we did all the almost we did all the bottom, right? We missed three. But we're three beaches, but we went beach to beach to beach to beach on the whole bottom. But like I said, we have five days, so if we did the whole bottom in one day, imagine how much we're gonna explore in five days. So there's they also have the bioluminescent bay here. It's like one of the brightest in the world. They have a rum distillery, they have um, horseback riding. So there's a lot of fun things that we're gonna do, but I cannot wait for the Airbnb tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys like a little Airbnb tour. But to the next beach. Oh my God, it's so nice having our own car. Wow, it's so cool with you. It looks like you're driving on water. If I get it at a low angle with your arms like covering the rocks, it looks like you're driving on water. Beautiful, you guys. Stop. We are just on the top of the mountain. We're, we're heading up there. It's pretty scary. But this, the view, can you show them? It looks so pretty. We'll get better. They even got the And we're going to try to go up this hill right here. Let's do it. All right, so this is the first um, like official stop stop where we're getting off. I took a nap, I knocked out, you guys, the day before, we had to be at the ferry in Fajardo by 7.30, so we woke up at like five, I woke up at 5.30, but I didn't even sleep because we had to go to Walmart first to get a last minute few things. But look, at this is where we're gonna go first and just lay under that tree over there. Probably put my feet in the water, but. Look at this is all the stuff that we got for the weekend. We got our waters, popcorn, chips, and Velveeta for the Airbnb, soups, some tequila because we're going to make our own um, margaritas. We're going to make one right now. Oh, you are? How you survived a whole year with me? I made it, guys. <laughs> You're surviving. Wow. I, want, I want to show them you making the margarita. Are you gonna do it here? Yep. All right, and oh, okay, fun fact. Get the cups. This is, wait, this, I have to tell them this is goes with the story because as you guys know, we're here for our one year anniversary. And the backstory, you guys would probably wanna know like how we met. I think I've said it, no, I've said it in a TikTok, but I never said it on YouTube. But basically, when I first came to Puerto Rico for a vacation for my birthday in January, 2021, I went to a bar and Idam was the bartender and I kept seeing him, I kept seeing him, and then that's how we met. So, he's going back to making the most bomb diggity drinks. What tequila are you gonna use first? Jesus, it got hot fast. 
it feels like it's not even just hot but it's humid flies this is his little shaker shaker thingy thingy and then he got his knife oh my god look how many limes i had to stop him because he wanted to get more limes he basically cut down a whole lime tree for this guys oh my limes. god they're the, it is. the key ingredient the for, for the for the margarita you right the lines you cannot do this my friends water Relájate. yo no quiero agua yo quiero Relájate. oh you're Relájate. you're washing it out okay 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 bloopers while he washes it out i'm gonna run to the water and show you guys and put my feet in the sand the cool thing about oh this is pretty about being on this island is there's so many secluded beaches that are private so as you can see like we have this whole beach to ourselves there's literally not anybody on this beach and it's so calm so this will be really good for swimming let's feel it oh i bet it feels so good because it is hot outside oh yes you know it feels so good <laughs> oh yeah it feels amazing. Little If you guys are gonna get Jose Cuervo, get this one. Anejo. Jose Cuervo Tradicional Reposado. Nice and smooth. $17.95. This is 100% agave, made in Mexico. This is the best tequila Jose Cuervo to me has ever made, other than the ones that are more expensive, but this bottle is $26, and this is worth every bit of it. This is better than the Jose Cuervo Silver and Jose Cuervo Oro, because it's actually reposado. You can see the color from the wood. Ah. It's not like the other Jose Cuervo Reposado, which they put like a caramel to give it color because it's so mainstream now, and so many people, you know, buy it. They that. ain't know about your tequila. Mm. And that they need to keep up with production, so they put them out. Caramelo, and that's what gives it the color. But this is original golden color from the barricas. And it smells. Oh, we have a tequila smell like that. Smell you can't, it just comes so fast. Um, did I tell you how Angela is going to Tequila Mexico? And there's a there's like a um, you know wine tasting, but she's gonna do tequila tasting. Angela, Angela, if you're watching this, take us with you. But uh, Angela, you're, you're bring me back some Centenario. Oh, I know that's his favorite. I was gonna say you're probably wondering why we got that brand, but here in Puerto Rico, the story went too. There wasn't a big selection of tequila, so guys, we use triple sack or you could use Cuatro too. This is just like an orange liquor. You just put a tip bit in there to give it some a orange bit. flavor. Then. All your many lines. We go to the lines. Damn, I got a piece in. <laughs> he got his little machete out. This is this is the beach life, guys. You have everything in there already? Mm -hmm. Oh dang. We have oh ice is in here. Oh, he's fancy. Oh yeah, so it looks good. What time is it? Oh, one, two, three, four. Earlier I showed them 11, 11, and now it's one, two, three, four. If you guys watched my last vlog, you saw that I put five, 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 and what was the other number that I saw? If you watched last videos, comment down below if you remember the numbers. But it's always nice, like showing you guys the numbers because an uh, old friend from high school, she was curious to me, and she asked about the numbers and what they meant and I've been telling her and all those things and I saw yesterday she posted on her story and I was like <laughs> wow thank you cheers cheers to one year <laughs> and many more mm. I was already prepared to make a face but it doesn't even taste bad mm -mm. we could put some more lime this tastes like smooth like you can still taste the alcohol but it's not like and I'm gonna do another line because mm. it's really supposed to be two. Oh, this is good. I'll try to get away with one, but oh my god, look at what you have to surprise me with. I told them the last time when we were here, my goal is to find a full one like this. This is crazy. These are the ones you see in books and movies. Look at that, that literally looks fake and it's super heavy. And like, <sighs> this is gorgeous. 
You want to go right or left? Oh, I can't believe you found this. Right or left? All right, you guys, we made it to the first beach that we're going to be swimming at. Finished the margarita, and Iram's in there somewhere snorkeling, but it feels so nice outside. That little ocean is, like, pretty crazy and dangerous. Like, you barely step out by the shore, and it, like, sinks super high, but so pretty. You guys, this is literally a dream come true of mine. Like, I used to, fun fact, when I used to, so I was raised in Monterey, California, and as a young girl, I used to always want to be a marine biologist, and I had a bunch of books on, like, sea life, seashells, all that stuff, and I used to, like, obsess over seashells, and look at this. Look at these. Iram's over there with his snorkeling thing, digging up all of them. He was just been swimming all around and finding them. There's more over there where he is. He just keeps like pulling them out, pulling them out. <laughs> so look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's a lot more over there. But this one is my favorite. It's so shiny and pretty. Oh my God. You guys, this trip is just, something about Vieques is just so different. Like it's technically still Puerto Rico, but it's an island out of Puerto Rico. Um, and the vibe here is just way more calm. You don't have fast foods, you don't have malls, you don't have highways. It's just a small, tiny island. You, like you have just the basics and it just feels so nice. Like there's different, land has different energy and the land here is just like, it's simple. It's like stillness, it's calm, it's, it's just peaceful. Like I love it here. And now we have the whole beach to ourselves. Earlier there was just um, one family right there but they left, oh, there's a fly. But I'm getting my tan on, and look how beautiful this opal is that he got me, you guys. Oh, I'm so spoiled. All right, so now I'm on the sheet. Sorry, I said I look funny, it's so bright. And I'm just relaxing. It feels so nice to be on an island where there's like not a lot of people, and there's so many beaches where you can get like literally just all to yourself. Let me put you guys back here, hold up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but I'm having the best time. So for Idam's anniversary gifts, I got him this book. It's like from Chatbooks. I don't know if you're familiar with the app slash website. And it literally had like our whole story from this past year, like different memories. And I typed out like little stories. So like you never forget the memories. And I got him this really cool compass. But I was not, honestly you guys, and I feel bad saying this, I thought he was going to forget to get me a gift or like his gift was going to be like, I don't know. But when he pulled out, he said, close your eyes. And then he came out with the earrings. I was like, oh, but then when he showed me the, the necklace, I was literally like, no way. Like I was shook. Let me show you guys again because... I just love it so much, hold on. Look at that. So nice. All right, you guys, first beach was a success. Look how pretty it is, this is where we're parked. So now we're gonna go find another beach. All right, you guys, the next stop, we are at the Viegas National Wildlife Refuge. So let's go see, check it out. Swipe the car. Little crabs, turtles. Oh, the last time we came, we um, saw a turtle egg. I'll insert a clip. Oh, you guys, we found it. A turtle egg. We're going to put Aww. it right back. Oh my god, I was about to pick it up because we're collecting different rocks, and I thought it looked like an egg rock. And what do you know? It's an actual egg. Let me see. Oh, Little turtle. Oh. Oh, this is so pretty. Like it looks creepy. It looks like a freaking apocalypse took over. Like, look at this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. Move it, move it, move it. <laughs> We're trying to make more margarita. <laughs> Did you drop it? Yes, I did. Man down. Look how pretty the road is behind. Wow. No, it's okay. Are you 
you guys it's not focusing but trust me when I say 1111 is right there and in my vlogs you know I always share the angel numbers that I see throughout the day make a wish make a wish like really quick guys I call him look at look at he's my tortilla like you know I'm Mexican he's Puerto Rican but look you look like a tortilla <laughs> when he gets tan he gets these little spots and he looks like like a straight tortilla and it's on both of his shoulders <laughs> That's so funny. This place is so pretty. Alright you guys, we're at the little street that we're gonna go eat. And it's super cute. There's a bunch of little restaurants and like Airbnbs. Oh, this is what I was telling you about. They have the bio bay. The world's brightest bio bay. Snorkeling. Edom went snorkeling today for free and he got me like so many seashells. But yeah, as you can see, it's like, it's more like slower paced and there's not, it's like small town type vibes. Is this like vacant or is it just, huh? Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? Guys, there's the infamous Lazy Jacks. I've been talking about this place all week. <laughs> Lazy Jacks. Oh my god, you guys, best jalapeno. Pie. Okay, so this is what the menu is looking like. We already know, first of all, we wanted the jalapeno poppers, and we're just gonna get the same thing, the pepperoni pizza. With the jalapenos on it. Yes, this is it. We already ordered, oh, we already ordered our uh, margaritas, so. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sunburnt. Like, look at this. I am burnt. I'm gonna come back in five days looking dark. Darker She's than, gonna be looking like darker Moana. Than, darker than you. She's gonna be looking like Moana. <laughs> Here's the drink. Tell me how it tastes. Ooh la la. <laughs> it's kind of hot. You can put it in your mouth. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to set you up. Eat up. How many margaritas later? Two and two. Two. Two and two. It's so pretty here at night. Look at this. Aww. We're still here. <laughs> Look at the boat. Oh, there's some moon and stars. And boats. This is I want to sell. Shut up. <laughs> Ten years later, ladies and gentlemen, we found a place. I literally knocked out for a 30 minute nap. But here we are, we're gonna set up. I'm gonna put the flashlight and show you guys our little bed on the back of the seat. But we are doing it. <laughs> Good morning, this is day two, you guys. We just woke up in the back of the truck. It was a little rough back there with all the bugs biting us. But we are surviving. It looks so beautiful. Good morning, you guys. It is day two. You don't say good morning. Good morning. We just roughed it out in the truck so they look <laughs> a little crazy. Um, but look at this. It's the little bad bunny thing. So cute. And then here's the ocean. So pretty. We just had our coffee and our Iran says tostada. For Puerto Ricans, it's like just bread and butter. I'm like, hey, it's not a it's toast, stuff. Toast, guys. Toast. Bread and butter toast. Yeah. Ah, I get it. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, this is what I'm about to show you guys. I'm super excited. It is the oldest tree in Puerto Rico. It's estimated to be around 400 years old, you guys. And I'm just so excited. If you know me and watch my other videos or you have me on Instagram, you know, like, I'm really, really into these things. And this tree just is like the best place to ground to the roots look at it, it doesn't even look real uh -oh. 
It's so peaceful here. 400 years old. Probably more. Okay, you guys, as you can see, this just shows, because I don't know if you can tell on camera how tall this is. Edom, Edom, you're five, how? 5'11. Five, five and look at how, like, you look tiny. <laughs> he goes here, and then look at that. Put your arms out. Let's see. Go, go wide. Look at that. It's huge. <laughs> Guys, this is the first beach we're gonna be swimming at. This is Playa Caracas, and it is so beautiful. This has like the most perfect white soft sand, and then the water is so crystal blue. Like this place is beautiful. This has to be one of the most prettiest beaches here. Alright, after swimming, we're back in the main area where all the restaurants are and we are going to eat some breakfast. We don't look super sunburnt. So you guys, after a nice time of swimming, we are back in the main area to get some breakfast. We are hungry. Oh, look at there's the Vieques chair. It is so hot out here. Like, look at this. I'm getting burned. What is breezy? Yeah, but there's a nice breeze. Uh, all right we are officially at Christie's let me show you guys the sign right over there but look how bomb we're starting off with our acai bowls and then we have fries on the way look at the bomb so good if you come to Vieques you have to come to Christie's look at this we got the loaded fry pile and then we got chicken tenders, but the bowls and the cuties. are so good. Yeah, look at they have cuties, which you never really see, but it's so good. They should start the coconut flakes. What do you think? One out of a hundred. What would you rate it? Hundred and fifty. <laughs> so good. One fifty thousand. We're about to be in a food coma. So pretty. Oh, you gotta just put some gloves on. And jump in with some sneakers. Let me show them your tan. You guys, look at this. Oh my god, there goes my tortilla. <laughs> Good morning, vlog. Show the people our mermaid tail. You guys, I love this floaty. Today, We're gonna try it. I'm going to be just, ooh, I could be on my floaty just sipping my margarita in the ocean. Oh, so as you can see, we're at our Airbnb, and look how beautiful this is. I'm going to give you a house tour later, but I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to put you guys on. I'll put the Instagram down below. But this place is just so pretty. We're, like, in the cuts. This little street like, is an alley, but it's a whole street. And then when you come in, this doesn't do justice how big it is outside. But you come in, there's a loft, and we're staying upstairs. This is usually a couch, but we made it into a bed last night because we were watching um, Pocahontas and we are eating pizza. This is the washer dryer. This is a little bathroom. This is a quick tour. I'm going to give you guys a full tour. But I just wanted to show you guys. Um, Edam's making tea. I'm making breakfast. Um, but yeah. As you guys can see, I'm so sunburnt. Like, I look like shades darker. In Monterey, if you know, there's the Breakfast Club and they have the famous, infamous Annie's Breakfast. It's basically potatoes on the side and then you have English muffins with bacon and eggs and avocado. But I'll show you guys when I'm done. We're just gonna cook. So, we were supposed to have mimosas this morning, like normal people. But our tequila, mm -hmm. I mean our champagne, it exploded, which makes no sense. But I don't know. So I guess we're, you took yours? 
Yeah. Ooh, did I get like a lime to like? Here. Oh my god. Just a little. Cheers time. to you guys. Cheers. Doesn't taste that bad cold, right? Oh it's yeah. It's actually really good. When it's cold, it's like bearable. When it's warm, yuck. Doesn't even burn like that. Whew. So he's about to make margaritas right now with our breakfast. <laughs> We're starting early, it's vacation. All right, you guys, breakfast is officially done and it looks so nice. We're gonna be eating outside of our Airbnb. Ooh, this looks nice. So I made the breakfast, Annie's breakfast, I was telling you why. Iran made the margaritas, they look so good. And then we got fruit with cinnamon and two little dove chocolates. But it looks so fire. Look at this. This is where we're eating. Like that. Oh, I can't wait to eat. This is so nice. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I'm doing so good with these drinks. He gets down with drinks. So nice out here. It's not even hot yet, so it's nice. And there's our little tiny mansion. You guys, look how cute this hat is. You know, I got it for me. And then look at We're super tan. You know, got me this new hat. I'm so excited. I'm so tan. All right, you guys, let me show you the outfit of the day. So I just have my lip liner, lipstick. I think I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and add mascara. But this is the fit, let me show you. This is the hat that Edom got me. Um, there is this little local vendor. She had these across the street from that little strip I showed you guys. But look how cute. I've been planning this fit. I posted on my Snapchat. So I'm just gonna wear this hat. Have my white bikini under, this little mini skirt. And this. This is the fit. I'm about to give you guys a house tour, so let's get it. Good morning, you guys. Well, it's morning for me. Um, it's time to officially give you guys the house tour. I'm super excited. This is our little tiny mansion. We have it for two nights. The first night we stayed in the truck and it was brutal, straight brutal. And Sunday night we're staying in the truck as well. So brutal, straight brutal. But we're staying at the beach, so it's really fun. I have a bumper and all that. But anyways, let me show you guys our crib for the weekend. So, it's right here in the middle of nowhere. Literally, to get to it, it's crazy. So this is, it's called Tiny Mansion. I'm gonna leave their um, social media down below. So if you guys ever come to Puerto Rico, go to Vieques. So we go up these stairs. Boom. This place is so nice. Um, like I showed you guys, we had breakfast up here. So it's a loft, and I've always wanted to stay in a loft. Originally, we were gonna stay at that Airbnb. But this one, from the same person, listed it just a little bit more expensive and it's more bigger and it has a loft, so I always wanted to. So we have this little table out here to have breakfast and tea. You come in, oh wait, look at tiny mansions. And here's our cute little loft. So right when you walk in, you see like we have these stairs that go straight up. And then our bed and the little desk is up there. It's super cute though. I love the way they decorated it. They have this right here. Let's stay home. Oh, here's their Instagram right here. This is the floaty Dom got me yesterday. It's so nice. It's huge. Mermaid tail. And then this is our couch. Usually it's just like a single couch, but we pulled out the bed so we could watch uh, Pocahontas and eat pizza last night with our little TV. I don't know, you guys. It's just like super cozy in here. So there's this. They provide you with chairs, hammocks, little tables, washer, dryer, soap. Here's our little kitchen. And then you go over here and there's our, our little bathroom. The first day we didn't have water so, so bad. We just took showers with our gallons of water. But today we have water, thank God. It has a nice little window so you can look out at the trees. The water here, I mean the shower is so nice. The water pressure is good, nice and hot. Got little bar stools. They provide you with a good amount of things. Like you have your dishes, your utensils, a little bit of spices. These are all the groceries we have. Like these are our little snacks. We're gonna be having Velveeta tonight. 
And then this is what our fridge is looking like. And then for my favorite part, upstairs where the bed is, let's go. These stairs, you really gotta be careful, like they have gaps in the middle. And here is the master suite. So cute. It's like super like, it's just, I don't know. He kept emphasizing that it's tiny, but like I'm like, this is perfect. This is just enough. So we got a little closet in here. Iron, hair dryer, hangers. And then this is the bed. AC works really good. I love this light fixture. The bed, there's my suitcase, little plant. Came with the desk, which I put all my makeup, skincare, perfume, all that. My bag, full mirror, and yeah, that's our house tour. I really love this Airbnb, you guys. I definitely recommend it if you come out here. That shit goes <laughs> Y'all showing me the snow bag. That was that Yankee guy when he first started. Playero 27. All right, we made it to the first beach of the day. You know, I got the floaty, the drinks, I got the beach bag. Uh, we went here last time, two weekends ago. Really brief. And I like it, I like this one because it's so calm. It's perfect for, for the floaty. Because there's some beaches that we go to and the waves are just way too strong. But this one, like you guys will see when we get down there, like we could float. All right, you guys, this is the beach. Look at it, it's so light blue. It's it's really early, it's only like one o'clock. Almost 1.30 probably, but look at this. This is why I love this beach. You see, it's so calm. We have it to ourselves. And it's so nice. Oh my God, it's so great. All right, we went swimming. We, we tested out the new floaty. And now we're just finally, for the first time on this trip, chilling in the shade because I have very, very sensitive skin and I was getting really sunburnt bad. I ended up getting sun blisters for the first time. So I have to like, like limit my sun exposure. Instead of like prolonging putting on sunblock, I put it on like right away. I have a hat now so my forehead won't get too dark. But yeah, as you see, my little cute band-aid right there. <laughs> but you guys, this beach is so nice. It's really calm. Not a lot of people. There's few people here, but like everyone's for the most part spread out where you like you have your own space. The waves are calm, so it's perfect if you just want to float like either by yourself or like on a floaty. And now we're just drinking those margaritas that Ira made this morning and I'm playing some Janae Aiko to keep the vibes right. But yeah, this is so nice. It's day three. Is this day three? Day three. Day three, but it feels like we've been here so long because we've been making the most out of each day. Today's the first day we started the day like a little later, which was nice because like when you go like from, we, like lately we've been starting at like, well the first day when we got here we had to take the ferry so that started at 5.45 we woke up and like we went all night long and then yesterday we started at 6 in the morning and we went, well Yesterday was nice because we actually finally chilled at the Airbnb so it was nice to just like get out the sun for a little bit and it's always nice when you get an Airbnb just to like enjoy the space and like just being somewhere away from home. So sunburnt like this. But Adam is over there. He's surfing. Not surfing, he's floating. On my floaty. Hold on, let me see if you guys can see him. 
All right, you guys, it is. Don't forget to like this video, comment, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I did it.